Hi, welcome to EcoDriver. My name is Helmut. This video is a part of the Kia eNero trilogy. We check whether we are able to get a similar consumption uh, on mountainous roads as we had on the EcoDriver loop, with the roads here only going up and down, and how good this car regenerates. On the EcoDriver loop, we had an overall consumption of 10.7 kWh per 100 km, and I'm quite confident we will get close to it. I've done the same test already with the Hyundai Kona, which technically is pretty much the same car, and we managed to recuperate 49% of the energy on the way down. It will be interesting to see whether we can match that with the e -Nero. This car has the 150kW motor with the 64kWh battery, and lane weight is 1866kg, 4105 pounds. We are doing a loop. You probably know it from my other videos, and if you're new to this channel, I'll show it here. We do it four times, twice clockwise, twice counterclockwise. After every lap, we change direction at the roundabout at the lowest point, marked here in blue. The western part on the left of the map is a bit steeper, the eastern one is a bit flatter. We take the consumption at the lowest and at the highest point, here marked in red, and at the end we have all the data to get the information we need. One lap is around 14 kilometers long, with a difference in altitude of around 500 meters, 1500 feet. So overall we cover around 2000 meters of elevation. So enjoy the scenery, the nice weather and our trip. I'll talk to you later. After the first lap, we have 12.1 kWh per 100 km, but as you have seen, just at the steepest part of the descent, which is very narrow, we had to stop and reverse up the hill as a truck was coming our way. In order to get a fair result, I will take this lap out of the equation and add a fifth lap at the end, so that we get a result comparable to other tests.
after four laps, we have 11.4 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. But as I said, I'll do the first lap once again. So at the end of the fifth lap, we see 11.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers on the board computer. Okay, let's check the results uh, of our mountain test with the Kia e Nero. As I've said, I've taken the first lap out of the equation and replaced it with a fifth lap in order to get comparable and fair results. Uh, and then we see here 11.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, which is just 0.4 or around 4% above what we had on the Eco Travel Loop. Again, this is a very good result and proves uh, what I've said before that uh, there must not be a difference between the consumption on hilly roads and mountainous roads compared to flat roads. As for regeneration, uh, we see here 49%, which is even better what we had with the Kona and again proof that Hyundai Kia are amongst the most efficient EVs as the average here is around 40-42%. Uh, but it's important to remember that at the end it's the car that gives you the opportunity but it's still the driver who brings it home. You can drive the most efficient car in a very inefficient way and you can drive an inefficient car rather efficiently. Um, if you go up a mountain and you're slamming the brakes before every turn, every, every hairpin turn, that's not very efficient. Just lift your foot off the accelerator a little bit sooner, don't invest much energy and let, the, let gravity do its job and reduce the speed of the car. The same on the way down, accelerating on the way down and then braking as you've seen today in, in the best of circumstances you get back close to 50% of the energy you have invested before so you never ever get back what you had to invest or have to invest afterwards to build up the speed again. If you want to see more of the e Nero, as I said I have done three videos with this car. Up here you find the consumption test on the Eco Travel Loop. Below there is the comparison of driving styles, lots of region versus little region, also with the e Nero. And if you're generally interested in this topic and what I'm doing, feel free to subscribe to this channel. And if you hit the notification bell, you won't miss any new video. That's it for the e Nero. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.